All right, so Desi Lydic, I would say that politics today is a bit of a shit show. What? Yeah, I know. When did that start happening? That's the big question. I mean, when do you think? I mean, you've been in show business. You're pro. So, I mean, <laughs> how do you think the landscape has changed during your career? Oh, God. Uh, well, in politics or in show business? Because and both are a real shit show, especially right now. Yes. Yeah, they kind of go hand in hand. Uh, I think politics has always been a, a bit of a shit show. It's always been a bit of a dirty game. Um, and I guess that's our job, to try to sift through the grit and try to make something... Hey, Roy. <laughs> Sorry. So, that's okay. So what's that process like? I know uh, John Stewart back in the day called it turd farming. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's the perfect way to describe it. Yeah, we kind of we, we figure out at the top of the day what we're going to dive into, everything that happened that morning or the day before that we want to cover. And that's a, a lot of the conversations. Like, wow, this is a real shit show. How are we going to sift through all of this and make something of it and make it funny? Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that's like the, one of the biggest challenges when stuff is happening that you care about and you're like, all right, how do we, how do we make light of this? Yeah, I mean, but, and how, how did that change post-Trump? I think a lot of it now is like it's so easy to, uh, there's so much material it's it's sort of easy to laugh at him, but he's almost like a a character caricature of himself. He's like a parody of himself. So it's hard to not make that hacky. So mm -hmm. it's about going like, well, it's really easy to make fun of him and, and laugh about the situation, but how do we take it one step further and, and not just go for the easiest joke? Yeah, and then at what point do you inform the audience like, hey, this is actually something really serious? Because yeah, there's a problem of like, it's too easy to laugh because it's so outlandish. So how do you inject that serious nature into it as well? well I think Trevor has a really good instinct for that sort of thing. He's, he's great at going, okay, this is, we need to talk about this honestly first. We need to start the conversation. And then he has a great instinct for when we throw in a joke, when it's starting to get a little heavy, throwing something in there to make it a little more palatable for the audience. Mm-hmm. And in regards to social media, that's another shit show that we are living in. Mm. What are some of your tips with engaging in that firestorm, be it on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram? I deleted my Facebook, so I am maybe not the person to ask about that. I just, I couldn't do it. It was taking up so much time. And, uh, and there are a lot of people that I would love to connect with, but I just, I, I can't, I can't do it. it. It got to be overwhelming. So I deleted it. I am not a social media expert. I try to kind of interact when I can and it's fun, but it can be a real time suck. How does it feel to be cut off from it though? Liberating. Great. I don't miss it at all. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Are you on mm -hmm. Facebook? Uh, yeah, for professional purposes. I did go yeah. off the grid for two and a half years, How and it felt good. It felt yeah. good. I did, like, you don't even think about it. It becomes such an important thing when you have it, but when you don't have it, it's like, I, I didn't need it after all. Yeah. But, and now you're back. It's like a drug. It sucked you back in. Well, I was told by multiple people, including my school, that I needed to be on there because, you know, we've only been in the business for two years, so we're still, like, poor and yeah. trying to survive. So, so peer Facebook pressure. helps us in that way. Yeah, and peer pressure. Oh, your friends were doing it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> it's a slippery slope. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, I wanted to, when I was doing some research, I found that you were interviewed back in the day by Fox and Friends. Oh, God. So retrospectively, uh -huh. looking back on that experience, what do you make of it? Uh, that was, so I did, um, I did something for uh, Dove products and MTV, uh, and it was this like micro series that I did and they were talking about it was a, it was a campaign that Dove was doing and and uh, and I was part of the series and they set up these interviews for us to do and we had no idea where we were going and uh, and that was on the list for that morning and I went and now in retrospect I'm like oh my god what was I doing on there but my parents my very Republican parents in Kentucky were more proud of me that day than any other day. So yeah. I did that one for mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And what mm -hmm. do they make of your current job? They're, they, they watch and they're very proud, uh, but they 
they do have a difficult time getting through it sometimes. And what about the holidays with the family? Is politics something that is we on the table? We used to have very open discussions about it, and lately we have not had discussions about it. It's it, it can be it can be a little tricky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and last question, since you brought it up when we started, are there any poop jokes that you want to offer? Um, uh, I, I I I would. I would throw out some poop jokes, but I have to run to the bathroom real quick. So, okay. um, unfortunately, I don't have time. Where is the closest restaurant? That's it. Ooh.